Hey guys, Mega Man NG here. We are back with another Gen 6 Wi Fi battle. And today's battle is against Chris, aka Chris Gaming Zone, or CGZ for short. Links in the description for anyone that is interested. This battle was a pretty interesting one, and despite the fact that, well, I did my best, you're gonna see just how dangerous this guy is. He starts off with the Metagross, I start off with Ferrothorn. And right off the bat, he decides to just start in and put off some entry hazards. So he sets up the rocks, which was a pretty smart move on his part. I instead went for the lead C, which personally was my mistake. I think lead C wasn't the best move to use since I wanted to try to like dish out damage, but it wasn't the best option. So he decides to make a switch, and he switches into his Mawile, aka Flunkafire. That's a pretty cool nickname. His Intimidate kicks in and I suffer an attack drop, which is nice. Which is nice on his end, of course. I go for the Stealth Rocks like before, and the Stealth Rocks do, like, set up, I guess. But now he decides to Mega Evolve into Mega Mawile. And this is when the beginning of my troubles began. He goes for a Substitute. And due to the fact of the Intimidate, my attack does a bit less. I go for a Gyro Ball. It does a bit of damage, but it doesn't take down the Substitute. This gives him a perfect opportunity to do a Sword Stance, and the Sword Stance boosts his attack up to plus 2. So with plus 2 attack, he can basically dish out a Dominating Pain. I go instead now for another Gyro Ball. It still didn't take down the Substitute. Two Gyro Balls in, and it didn't work. So he now instead decides to go for another Sword Stance. His attack is now raised up to 4. I really mean it. 4. Plus 4 special attack, and I'm like, oh crap. Mega crap indeed. Fortunately, the third gyro ball takes it down, I'm happy with that. And he decides to go for a play rough, which does a crap load of damage. However, that's when I bring in the backup. The iron bars kicked in, dealing damage, followed by the rocky helmet. Made worse by the fact that since he used substitute, that like cut a lot of HP. It really did cut a lot. I go now for another set of spikes, but he sets up another substitute, and I think that's another mistake he made. Since he now knows pretty well he's going to be screwed one way or the other if he attacks, since, yeah, my Ferrothorn plays rough. Well, he went for the play rough, and that takes down my Ferrothorn. However, even with the substitute, he still suffers from the damage. He suffers from Iron Barbs, and he suffers from Rocky Helmet. Useful combination, and that takes down his Mega Mawile. Oh, and the best part... Ferrothorn defeats Mawile by doing absolutely nothing. Sort of. He now sends in Wonder Woozy, the Machamp, and I send in my Greninja, and I'm hoping that my Greninja can be able to take him down without, like, doing much. And I suffer Stealth Rock damage, he suffers Stealth Rock and Spikes damage. I go for the Grass Knot, changing into a Grass type, and I'm hoping that I can be able to take it down. Sadly, it didn't. And Wonder Woozy goes for a Dynamic Punch. This Machamp, believe it or not, has no guard, which makes any attack 100% hit without fail. Even when you're either in the sky, underground, or underwater, it'll still hit you. With my Greninja taken down, I decide to sit into Arcanine, and I'm thinking I need to strike fast. I should have gave it Extreme Speed, because he now goes for another Dynamic Punch, and it takes down Arcanine fast. I was starting to get livid, to be fair. I was starting to get really livid. So... I had I can't play around anymore. I send in my Alakazam. My Alakazam is faster than his Machamp. I decide to Mega Evolve to make sure of it, though I don't know if it was a good idea to do that, since once Mega Alakazam kicks in, Trace activates, and it can trace the next ability, which is No Guard. I trace the No Guard, I go for the Psychic, and it takes down Machamp, and Machamp goes down. I'm at least happy that I was able to take it down. Sadly, that's not going to matter much. It won't matter. So, he starts off with his Metagross. He brings in Metagross, actually. I was going to go for the... I went for the Signal Beam, believe it or not. Signal Beam was going to hurt. He does suffer some damage from Stealth Rocks and Spikes, and the Signal Beam does happen. Though it was super... It wasn't really super effective. I thought it was, but it didn't. And then the Earthquake kicks in, and my Mega Alakazam is toast. He gets taken out. And believe it or not, that made me a bit angry, because with my Mega Pokemon taken out... I'm running out of options, so I decide to send in Chansey, and he just explodes. No, he just explodes. He goes all suicide and decides, to, you know what, I'm going to take you down. Plus, with the normal gem that he had, 
it made explosion attack even more powerful. I'm lucky to even survive it with 2 HP. I don't know if it was the luck of the draw or what. It didn't matter though because I pull aside McToss and it didn't work. So now I'm down to two Pokemon and he actually has three. He comes in with Suicune and Suicune is faster and decides to go for a stall, but not before suffering damage from spikes and stealth rocks. That and he's exerting his pressure. He's exerting a lot of pressure because now it makes two power point attacks instead of one. My chance he's taken out. I'm running out of options, believe it or not, and I'm out of time. So I'm down to my last Pokemon, so I may as well make the most of it and get it over with. I send in my Electivire, and my Electivire does suffer Stealth Rock damage, and yeah, that means it makes Focus Sash useless. So I go for the Thunder Punch, and the Thunder Punch does more than half, but it really wasn't enough to take it down. So I, he goes for the Scald, but I'm lucky not to get the Burn. I'm happy for that, thank God. However, I go for a Thunder Punch, believe it or not, and I take it down. He does recover some health with leftovers, but that really didn't matter much. He really did it, because the Thunder Punch was able to take it down easily. And he now sends in Porygon 2, and you guys know how annoying Porygon 2 really is, right? Very annoying. He suffers damage from Stealth Rocks and Spikes, and traces Moda Drive, which means Thunder Punch is out of the question. I instead decided to go for a Brick Brick, and Brick Brick is super effective against it, and he decides to go for a Toxic, and this must be a Toxic Stall Porygon 2. If it had a Veolite, it would have been worse, because that would really suck. So, now the poison damage kicks in, he's just going to stall it out. He's just going to stall it out until my Electivire dies. He actually does so with Protect, and the Protect, basically, well, you know, protected him from the Brick Break. I was hoping that I could do, like, another Brick Break that can take it down, but sadly, didn't. I go for one more Brick Break, and the Brick Break doesn't kill it. That made me angry. It did, and I don't think it really mattered. He goes for the Ice Beam and he finishes off my Electivire. That was a pretty good battle, Chris. Your team is actually a lot more interesting. The last Pokemon I never got to see was a Snorlax, and it made me curious to see what it was like. Though if I ever do battle him again, we'll see. Anyway, that's about it for the Wi-Fi battle. Hope everybody enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button. Be sure to check out General Sakura's, I mean, I'm sorry, Chris Gaming Zone's YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys next time for another Wi-Fi battle. Peace.